Hey, what's going on everyone? This is iReviews back with another video and today I will show you guys how to clear the cached files on your iOS 26 device. Now cached files will actually take a ton of space on your device unnecessary space that you could use for something else and of course these files will always pile up with time and just like in a few weeks or months using your device you will have a ton of gigabytes all that will be just cached files from different apps so in this video i will show you guys some tips and tricks that will help you clear those files and get a lot more free space on your iphone now the first thing that you can do which is actually very simple is just restart your iPhone regularly. So when you go to your iPhone and you go to your settings, if you go to general and then go under iPhone storage, you will see that if we scroll all the way down here, there will actually be system data. This part right here is the part where system files are stored, cached files from the system. And usually it will be quite big. But when you restart your device, it will clean a lot of those files that are unnecessary and are not being used anymore. That way, allowing you to have way more free space on your iPhone. So let's just go ahead and restart the device. And once the device has restarted, all you have to do is just go ahead and check the size of those files again. Just wait for like five to six minutes and then go under general, go to iPhone storage and scroll all the way down here and you will see that it will now start to go down. As you can see, we have freed until now a gig of cached files from the system and probably it will go down even more in a few minutes here so this is a super useful and a very easy way to actually clear system files cached files next up will be safari now safari of course will have a ton of cached files these will be data from different websites that you visit now there are two ways to actually clear these so first of all of course is the simple way of just clearing the browsing history and data from your device on safari you can do that by going to settings apps go to safari and then right here you can clear history and website data as easy as that you can choose what you want to clear in the time right here of course and all your profiles or just a specific profile that you might want to clear but what you can also do is head on just down here to advanced and then right there you will have a section for website data and once you go here you will see a list of all the websites and the size of the files that they have saved on your device all of these are saved locally on your iPhone and are taking space on your device. Now, what you can do from here is, of course, clean any one of them simply by swiping it like this. You tap the delete button and you're good to go. Or you can just go ahead and remove all the website data at once by clicking this button right here. Now, the same can be done for third party browsers as well. If you use a third party browser, they will also save a ton of data on your device. In this case, I have Chrome here. I do use Chrome quite a lot. So what I have to do here is just go to the history section. And from here, I can go to a time range. So pick a time range here and it will show you how much stuff you have right on your device you can see 134 size side data cache files all that so you tap right here if you want to view them and then right here it will show you details of how much stuff is saved on your device from here you can tap the confirm button or you can choose what you want to clear so if you don't want to clear your browsing history you can just remove that you can just go ahead and just choose the cache files in this case so we we'll remove everything here tap on confirm and then if we delete it it will just delete the cached files without having to delete the history at all now some apps do offer the ability to clear the cached files from their settings and these are awesome apps they have that ability which i think should be part of each app every app should have their section on the settings where users can actually just go ahead and clear the cached files so in this case we're using snapchat right here so if we go to snapchat go to settings right here under privacy and control you can go to clear data and then right here you will have the ability to clear the cache so if you go right here it will show you this pop-up and from here you can clear all the cached files in this case for snapchat now there are other apps that do offer this like spotify in this case so on spotify just go to your profile and from here you can just go to data saving and offline 
and then once you scroll all the way down you will see here a section for storage and it will show you how much storage is taking up space on your device so right here you can see spotify cache files there are actually four gigabytes these are songs that are cached on my device now if i want to remove them i will have this button right here to clear the cache again this will remove all the cached songs that you have on your device not the downloads, just the cached songs. So just be aware of that. If you're cleaning this, all the cached songs will be removed. So you can do that again from this dedicated button right here. Now the same goes for TikTok as well. If you're using TikTok, just head on to the settings and scroll all the way down here and you will see here free up space. This is a section to free up space with TikTok and you can see right here it shows you how much cached files it has on your device. So in this case, I have 592 meg megabytes of cached files, which I can go ahead and clear from here, or even the downloads, if you want to do that, you can go ahead and clear that as easy as that. Another thing you can do is use the upload app feature of iOS. This is actually a super useful feature, which will remove apps that you don't use. And basically, once you need to use them again, you install them and you have all your things there. So make sure you go under apps here and then go under app store and you will have this feature right here. Upload unused apps. It is as simple as that. You enable it. It works automatically. Once you have a few apps that you haven't used in a long time, they will actually be deleted automatically from your device. But again, everything will be saved. So once you install them back again on your device, they will actually have all their data. So that's really, really cool especially if you tend to install a ton of apps on your device, most likely you don't use a lot of them, probably with weeks or months, then go ahead and enable this feature is very useful. And last but not least, you can actually delete the apps completely and reinstall them. That is also a very effective way to actually manage cached files. So if we go to the iPhone storage right here, you can see I have a ton of apps that are using a ton of space on my device. So let's say Facebook, you can see it's 5.6 gigabytes. That's huge. And you know the app is not that big because if we go right here, you can see the app size is 372 megabytes, while the documents and data are 5.2 gigabytes. That's really huge. And Facebook doesn't have a way for us to clear these files. The only way to do that is actually deleting the app completely. Now, if you delete the app, immediately, of course, all these document and data will be deleted. I can then reinstall the app, of course, log in in my account, and the app will be 374 megabytes. Of course, there will be cached files again, but it won't be this big. And it will say lower than this probably for months because these files will pile up with time. So in the meantime, you will have quite a few more gigabytes of free storage on your iPhone. So that's another very, very effective way of clearing the cached files from your device. So that's basically it for this video, guys. These are a few different tips and tricks that you can use in order to clear the cached files from your iPhone. That way you get a lot more free storage that you can use for more useful things than just having cached files saved and piled up on your device so i hope you guys enjoyed the video and you found it helpful if you did smash the like button and of course subscribe for more videos and i'll see you on the next one